Their searches include missing people to weapons and homicide investigations. The Lexington Sheriff's Department dive team undergoes over 150 hours of training each year. The team of 12 trains six hours every other week and gets as many as 12 calls a year. WIS reporter Naomi Popo went to their most recent training this morning to show you how they conduct a search and what's needed to do it. Lexington County Sheriff's Department dive team has been retrieving objects and evidence since it became fully operational in 1985. Today, we take a look at how they do it. Since its inception, the LCSD dive team has been responsible for scuba diving murky waters in search of anything or anyone who is missing. But what's the process and how does it work? It starts with a call, letting the team know it's time to get in the water. But before that, the team performs a risk analysis to make sure the water and surrounding area is safe. Then a search line is used. It systematically covers the bottom of the water so they can effectively find an object or body. A wet or dry suit is put on, then it's time to get in. A lot of calls Lake Murray um, for missing persons. Uh, we do cover all the waterways throughout the county. It could be a creek, it could be a pond, uh, contaminated areas too. So. Sergeant Jeff Weed heads up the dive team. He tells me technology continues to advance, which helps reduce time. Something that used to take the team a week to do can be done within an hour. The team uses sonar, a device that scans for abnormalities under the water. Metal detectors are also used, especially for objects like cell phones, which are often needed for an investigation or serious crime. But getting a call about a drowned or missing person can be difficult. Weed tells me bringing comfort to families is what keeps them going. And a lot of reason we do this is uh, uh, recovery, especially with the bodies. Uh, we have closure for family members. A lot of time family members are on the shore watching and everything. And uh, when we can get that closure, uh, that means a lot to every team member. In the last five years, the dive team has had a 100% success rate on body and vehicle recoveries. Jim Hickman is 81 years old and was there when the first dive team was created. To this day, Hickman remains on the LCSD dive team, training and searching. Today we went through a mock training. Hickman and I went underwater to retrieve a gun placed 10 feet deep. In this case, we found the missing object. But this was nothing compared to the hours long searches the 12 person team undergoes in a normal case. Weed says there are ways to prevent you or your loved ones from being their next search. Uh, I've been diving over 30 years with the Sheriff's Department. I never had a recovery by a life jacket. Looking back on over 35 years of diving, Hickman tells me the memories overflow. He showed me a multitude of photos from successful finds and solved mysteries to fantastic photo ops. And this picture you said is your favorite? Yes, ma'am. tell me why it's your favorite? I just think it's a cool picture, <laughs> that's all. Uh, that was me back when, and I don't even remember where it was at. I got glasses, I got hair too, uh, but I just think it's a cool picture. The Lexington County Sheriff's Department dive team is the most successful dive team here in the Midlands, with over 70% of their retrieval right here at Lake Murray. Reporting in Lexington County, I'm Naomi Popa, WIS News 10.